we have the application running as it was before. Now it's time to make it look like a real Facebook application. Not just look like a real Facebook application, but start to contain the functionality that people expect from a Facebook application. So let's come back here and take a look at the code very briefly before I remove a big chunk of it. We haven't really looked in great detail at the structure of the sample application. I'll show you just that it is all here PHP code. It starts here and PHP code is closed here with the question mark and closing bracket. Within that I have some PHP code like the require statement. Here is a PHP line of code that creates a new Facebook object from here and stores it in a PHP variable. This PHP variable is set to the result of this function. I'm using the echo statement and what echo does in PHP is to generate code that is typically HTML code because the point of this PHP file is to generate the code that will go back to Facebook that will inhabit the middle of the window which will be either HTML code or FBML code, Facebook Markup Language Code, which uses the same structure as HTML but extends HTML with Facebook code. Here we have a call to the Facebook API client friends get method. This is part of the Facebook API and we have a for each which is part of PHP. Then we have another echo of an ending of a paragraph element. This is plain old HTML. That's what we're generating from here. We're calling methods of Facebook, but we are generating code. Here you see an opening paragraph tag. Here's the hello. Then we're getting the title friends, which is going to be emitted as HTML. We call to get the friends, and then we are closing that element. We haven't used any FBML in this file. But what we are going to do now is to get rid of this code here. And all we are using here now is the shell of index.php. We're getting the config.php file in. We're bringing in the Facebook code. And we are creating these two variables, the Facebook variable, which contains a Facebook object, and the user ID. And now I need to write some code, HTML or FBML code, that is going to populate the middle of the window. And I'm going to use FBML code. And I could place it in one of two areas. I can place it within the PHP section of code. Or I can place it after it because it will just be passed through along with HTML code. Now I happen to have the code that I want, which is code that will create the dashboard. And I will just paste it in, and now I will show you what the FBML code looks like. It looks very much, as I said, like HTML code. Here is an element called FB Dashboard. Here's the opening tag. And here's the closing tag with the slash. Here I have an FB action element, opening tag, closing tag, and then content in the middle of it, which is the name. I have a help element here, another help element, and I have a create button. Now this is going to eventually wind up being a copy of the Main Street Picks application, so I will allow you to create a new pick. Normally a create button, you see here the FB create button, will let you create a new something, and that something is whatever you primarily deal with with your application. It might be an account doesn't matter what it is, but it will be one of the main things that your application is dealing with. Now this code is going to create what we call the dashboard. And when I save it, upload it, and run it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll do that right now. 